Hey everyone, this is Kim with Abundant Life Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to discuss the crystal of the month, which is a Lestial, aka Alligator Quartz Crystal. And let me show you my, my personal Alestial Quartz. It is a rough piece and I adore it. It grips nicely in my hand like so and there are some parts that are even pink almost you can't see it but they're like little bits of pink and mauve in this stone and it's called alligator quartz because it, it has almost a texture like alligator skin I guess you could say and the um, for mine I feel like it just kind of looks like an alligator in and of itself and yeah so but it is it can be either in most cases I've seen it in a rough form like this but I do have some pieces that are going to be going in my Etsy store and on my site for um, sale that are going to be that have some sheen to it as it was like semi polish. I'm personally a fan of stones that are more tumbled and more rough. Not tumbled, excuse me. Tumbled would be like very like tumbled moonstone. Oh my goodness. Bishop's barking at probably a cat. I'm gonna have to go get him. If he doesn't stop soon, it's becoming a little nuisance. Okay, so this is a piece that's like semi -t like polished, and I was gonna say yeah, tumbled would be like shiny. Mine's is pretty much raw, and I like that. I prefer my pieces more on the raw side than than not. So. Let's talk a little bit about Alessio. Let me show you some of the um, of the pieces that I have in my collection. But while I'm doing so, let's have a little chat. And let me know in the comments box below if you have worked with Alessio quartz before. Here's another piece that's more on the gray side or more on the white side, I could say. I guess it's not really gray. Let's see if I can. To me, it, I just oh, the energy. Like you can literally feel the vibrations coming through the stone. It's high vibing, for sure. And so you can see the like the different colors and shades that they can come in. I'll show you in a moment. I tabbed the book. I have two of Judy Hall's um, crystal books, and we'll show you like some examples in case you're out there looking for your own Alessio quartz. You could just kind of compare and look and see if it's what you are picking up, what you're possibly going to purchase. Oh yeah, I love this. I just love mine so much. Okay, so. You know, it's, it's an excellent purifier and detoxifier. And it pulls out negative energy out of the body and your environment. And it replaces it with protective and vibrant light. And it's an exceptional healer, I find. And it protects against psychic attacks. And if a psychic attack has already begun or happened or is happening, it also aids in helping to diffuse the situation and to help to heal the situation and then to protect and bounce back that negative energy. Um, it also draws out past life traumas as well as disease. That's another one. You can see some pink there, pops of pink in the stone. I really like this one. This one's more rough 
then I mean it's got some surfaces that are polished and then some that are that are rough like right here a little variety <laughs> and let's see another one okay you know about the spiritual and emotional healing and alignment part we have you know with the celestial it sets you on your soul's path journey um, and it links to the divine and that's why it really helps with tapping into um, you know your higher divine self so when you're doing readings it really I mean, you just feel like it literally feels like everything is just opened up, like, and you're just able to receive so much when you're in the presence with the stone and then with just being a present mind, knowing like I'm trusting in the universe, like it helps to just, the stone is very healing in that way that you like. If you're trying to manifest something, this is the stone because it really helps to to reconnect with your divine connection and it helps to trust in the universe, which is very important when you're trying to manifest something powerful. And it is a good chakra healer. All chakras can be healed with this particular stone and it is definitely a stone of change and transformation however if you are trying to usher in change it can come on abruptly so you just have to kind of be prepared for that when you're utilizing the stone big things can happen in short amounts of time but hey transformation is good Let's see. I want to look and see if there's any. This one's definitely got some more polished sides, but what I really like about this one is the inflections of the gold colors in this one. I like that. Looks like I'm just gonna try to see if it was if there was any translucent, like was it iridescent like I like that. And you can compare it to um, Alessio Quartz definitely dissolves confusion, um, fear, it dissolves blockages, this is a good workout, and I don't know, it's a stone that I found useful when I needed help with concentration, and it's also known for that. And also, I needed help with being able to uh, move past certain negative experiences that may come up in my day to day. We, you know, it it just felt to me like I was going down a path for myself where I wasn't um, always monitoring my thoughts, and this helped me with kind of realigning again, and then also to help me monitor my thoughts a little bit better and my concentration is increased and I always love having it on my reading table when I'm doing readings this one's mine again I always like to have it nearby because not only does it protect myself and the sitter or qu the querent but in the event that maybe you know there's something else energetically going on i feel protected with this stone i love the name celestial i think of the heavens when i hear that i guess when you hear celestial but celestial and yeah it's definitely a healer it also helps with regeneration um if we're talking about the physical um healing properties of it it is certainly a helper with pain and recovering from surgeries um, so you in terms of how you use it and the purpose of how you use it 
this stone works great for actually holding it during meditation or just sitting still with it having it in a grid it's great for grids it's also great for just having on your table and just being in the presence of it um, if you're in pain holding it over the site of the pain believe it or not and it yeah it actually helps with the regeneration and the new growth of cells so again when I talk about crystals some people may not understand it and they may not and for that they may not ever want to believe but for those who believe they find success with it and so for me I believe in the healing properties of crystals and I believe in what they can do both on an mental, psychological, emotional, physical, environmental level. I feel like I'm rambling and rambling about the stone, but it's a super important stone to my collection. I mean, I have certain stones that have definitely helped me along my journey, and this would be one of them at this state of my life. Like it came in, like all of my stones come in, right when I need that particular healing property and you know that could be that this for you too I don't know so again let me know have you worked with this crystal before um, what's been your experiences do you know much about it do you have any questions about it um, let me know in the comments box below and yeah it's it's one of my favorites honestly like I said this one is to me so ugly that it's pretty and I know this so sounds so like what what now yeah that's how I feel about this stone I don't know how else to describe it and I am definitely going to have these pieces that I showed in this video today in my Etsy store as well as on my website for sale so keep a lookout for that and uh, yeah, much love, many blessings. See you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.